Hi everyone, I just wanted to show a quick video on how to do your own wine at home. For those that are interested, and maybe I can inspire somebody, but it's quite quite easy, providing you follow you know certain steps, keep everything clean. Uh, so you got to sterilize all your bottles, your Dumb and Johns, and and, and um, all your tools. So basically, you buy the juice. This now I got this three days ago. In three days, it's already fermenting. Right? You can see the bubbling there. And you also want to keep your um, your temperature in this room here between 21 and 25 degrees Celsius. And if you, I don't know if you can notice it, but I don't fill it up. Uh, I mean, it's three quarters only during fermentation only. So basically, that's two of these pails that I have over here. They hold 21 liters each. So I have two of these pails, 42 liters in each one. Again, the lines here, it's three quarters full, three quarters full, and same over there, try to see. But you can see it's fermenting there. This will go to about maybe ferment between four and seven days. But however, it'll eventually it'll stop doing the, 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 the boiling. But it still has to remain in here for four weeks. After four weeks, we want to do a, a take a measurement of the, uh, I guess it would be the alcohol to see if it's wine or not. And what you do is you just grab this thing here, you fill it up with wine to the top. This thing in the middle here will float, and the reading should be sitting about here. I'll pull this out. The reading should be right there. And that's 99, it says one there, but it should be below that, which is 99.9. .9. But you want to get one of these hydrometer things. It's pretty neat, when you, especially if you're doing wine or even beer. Right. So I'll put that back. So anyways, after you're, you're trying to, after four weeks, providing you're at that, at that mark, and it's four weeks now, you want to add, you want to get a clean Demijohn. And you want to add this antioxidant, which kills any live yeast that's still present in the in the wine. And just follow the instructions, because uh, each thumb and John is 54 holds 54 liters, so you just follow the instructions and how many of these you need to add for 54 liters. So after that, you want to keep it with that as you know for another four weeks, additionally on top of that. But this time you're going to fill it up to the top. So after four weeks. You wanna, you're gonna transfer it again, which will be your second and last racking. And um, at that point, you wanna, actually first of all, I didn't mention the fact that there's a sterilizer. You wanna sterilize all your, your jugs, your tools, everything that you wanna, you wanna clean. And it's basically, you, you mix one of these pouches with four liters of water in a gallon and uh, that's that's uh, that's the size everything so that's good and I if you, if you can see I I leave mine there because it's good for six months and again I use it for cleaning all my stuff so anyways after four weeks of uh, the antioxidant being in there is your final racking into another clean dumb and John filling it to the neck but at this time it's for age uh, it's good for aging I, I like to add American oak chips. You don't have to. It just gives it that little bit of oaky taste. Uh, full body if you're into it, but you don't have to. And for four, 54 liters, I usually put two pouches and I leave it in there for, for aging. That's basically it. Um, you wanna see some of my previous years of wine. This is my uh, 2016 wine, which this is all the second year I'm making it from the juice, buying the juice, as opposed to squishing them. This is 2016, then up here, 2015, this is now from squish grapes that we did, as well as 2014, we squished these grapes. And over here, I got th only got about three gallons of uh, 2013. And it's all been oaked, and, and it came out good. Anyways, 
if you like what you uh, you see, you want to try it at home, at home, go ahead. You can't go wrong. There's also information on the internet as well. If you want to trouble it, or these even these wineries, they have very educated people there that can help you what you need. And it's basically keep everything clean and keep the air out when you're doing the wine and when you're storing the wine. And it's also the temperature. When you're storing the wine, you want to be between 15 and 17 degrees Celsius. This is after it's uh, for aging. And that's it. Anyways, I hope you enjoy, uh, enjoyed it and, and inspired. And I hope I enjoyed it and inspired people. Thank you very much for watching.